What's going on guys, Noah Gaming here, back with another YouTube video. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys, or not necessarily teaching you guys, but showing you guys the top five reasons why your NSPDFR game keeps crashing. If you guys do enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that like button, it'd be greatly appreciated. And if you are new, go ahead and press the subscribe button to see more videos just like this. And let's get right into it. First things first, you guys wanna go to, to your settings, okay? So go to your settings, and this is like a follow step through. This one will be more so of a longer video so you guys can follow. So this is number one, number one, okay boys? Number one reason, maybe. Go to updated security. Once you guys are here, you wanna go to window security, right over here, virus and threat protection. Go and click on that. Scroll down to where it says virus and threat protection settings. Go and click manage settings. Now, you guys wanna to go to scroll down and go to exclusions. Microsoft Defender and antivirus won't scan items that you have excluded. This is basically if there's, if it says there's a virus, which more than likely the new updated Rage plugin hooks and the LSPDFR configuration files and whatnot, it might seem like it's a virus. So your computer will, your computer will scan over and it won't allow it to basically load or, you know, run completely. You're going to hit add or remove exclusions. A window is going to pop up Windows security. Go ahead and press yes on that. Add an exclusion. Now, I recommend adding the folder. You could add the file, but the folder is, it's, you know, everything inside of that folder. So go ahead and click add folder and go to your GTA 5 main main directory. You guys should know where that is. Um, me, I have it pinned on the side. So let's say if it wasn't there, I would just go to GTA 5 right here. Click this. This is the main folder. Everything is, is everything is in there. I'm going to click select folder. And then there you go. You've added it to your GTA 5 you add it to you add it to your exclusions folder your gta 5 folder once you guys do to this it should work if it doesn't there might be another reason for it crashing and i'm going to show you guys that right now so that's number one let's go and get it to number two number two could simply be your pc it might not be strong enough to boot up the game and run the game so you're going to want to run rage plugin hook so you go into your main directory you find rage plugin hook you're going to double click and hold shift so double click and hold shift you guys should have the rage plugin hook menu pop up first things first you guys probably seen this screen when you first watched launch race plug hook and probably never seen it again if you don't know how to pop it up so plug in timeout threshold yours might be set to ten thousand. okay what you guys want to do is set it to sixty thousand. Sixty thousand is the max so if you try to set it to seventy thousand, it won't work sixty thousand is the max and this is more of like a threshold kind of like a buffer zone so if your pc is having trouble running at all it'll give it like a buffer to like actually load and load and load before it actually crashes itself next you want to go to plugins you want to go to the plugins tab up here and majority of people have this you know load these plugins on startup you can have them selected or you can press load all plugins which will load every plugin that you have i recommend if your pc isn't that good if you're crashing a lot you know unexpectedly especially when you're launching the game and it's just getting stuck and crashing go ahead and click don't load any plugins on startup this is going to tell your game hey we don't want to load anything we just want to run regular gta 5 and once you guys boot up into there that's when you would press f4 and then you would press load all plugins or f4 reload all plugins and then you guys should be set you guys should be good that's number two number three let's get into it number three could be a large variety of reasons you know but this one in particular is why many people's game crashes you want to go to your safari and you guys want to go to rage native let me go ahead and close these out simply just go to any browser you have and just type in rage native ui you click this click the first one that pops up you could press this but click this one and right here rage native ui this is the fixed localization is basically for the newest updated one or the most recent but sometimes these are outdated and when it configures with the game it might crash so you might have to wait for a little bit before you play lspdfr but you guys want to go to click this right here Rage Native UI zip. We're gonna click that. It should download a file. We're gonna open this, and this is the Rage Native UI DLL. So this is basically kind of like a script. We're gonna open our main directory, GTA 5, and mine not, mine not might even updated. I haven't played in a while, so. But I see, you know, I'm getting all the comments, and everybody's just, you know, help me there, help me here, help me here. So I'm just gonna make a top five of why your game might be crashing. Let's see if I can find my Rage Native UI. Rage Native, here it is. Rage Native 1-1-2025. So it's this year. Let's see what this one is. Let's compare them. Let's compare both of them. So the one on the Rage Native is 12 12 2024 at 2.37 PM. Mine is 1 1 25 at 7.08 PM. So mine is the newest. I think I got that because if you guys go to Discord and join the Rage plugin hook Discord, they send out the newest updated Rage plugin hooks and the newest updated Rage Native UI DOLs. Which guys are on Discord? Um, I recommend joining this Rage Native plugin hook. They send out. Look at this, two twenty four, 
2025 rage plugin for grand theft auto 5 this is where you guys need to be this is majority of why people's games are crashing why their files aren't you know compatible with each other they don't have the most up-to-date and the most up-to-date files aren't even on the website so i recommend joining race plugin hook here you guys go i need to download this too because i need to get my lsp4 back up running we're going to start recording and uploading videos hope you guys stick around for that as well download this here we go raise native ui this might take you to the site i'm pretty sure it might take you to this okay it does take you to the site i don't know why mine is 1125 i have the most exclusive updated raise native ui but i will try to figure out a way to put that in the link in the description so you guys can just go ahead and download that put it in your slap it in your game folder and be on your way to go but that is number three boys make sure you guys have the most recent rage plugin hook and the rage native ui you guys should be set let's get on to number four okay number four is pretty simple i've said this in my previous video before i had a lot of comments saying this didn't do this didn't do this this didn't do that i want to say there is four things that go into this okay there's four i'm going to pop them on the screen this is number one this is number two this is number three and this is number four so script hook v and you got to put dot net because this is there's a whole this is a whole different one the script v and then there's script v dot net so you want to get this one i'm gonna scroll down december 20 29th 2022 this is very old so if you don't have this um i don't know what to tell you click this boom there goes the download once that's downloaded it's going to open that up and there's going to be four files in here that you need to take out so we're going to do that together to put these files you got to put them in your main directory so let's go and pop over our main directory slap that right there and you want to grab scriptv.net 3 okay hold control and click keep holding control scriptv.net 2 we're going to click that see how it highlights both of them we're going to keep going scriptv.net that asi that's why you have the asi loader when you downloaded the um open iv that's going to read that we're going to click that and we got one more script of v.net that i and i and this is a like configuration you can go into it change things but i highly don't recommend that so once you have them all clicked let go of control we're going to grab them and we're going to drag them and drop them in here now it's going to say i already have the files in there obviously let's go ahead and see if they're up to date though so let me decide so this is the files that i've downloaded on the left this is the files that are already in gta 5 as you can see majority of them are already the same so 12 29 2022 12 29 2022 we have one different script v.net ini 12 29 2022 the newest one 1 4 2025 as we scroll down you see they all link so i'm gonna go ahead and click continue i'm gonna replace those so that it updates all the way and that's the first one script v.net now we're gonna go back we're gonna look up just plain script v and this is a whole different one we're gonna click this. We're gonna click GTA 5. This is gonna pop up. We're gonna go to Script V right here. We're gonna scroll down March 22nd, 2025. And this is for the newest one. So make sure if you guys are gonna be playing on new new the newly installed, fresh updated GTA 5, which is probably 3442. You guys are gonna wanna have this. You wanna have everything up to date and fresh. We're gonna download that. Let's go ahead and open that. Close this. Go back to our main directory and it's going to be the exact same process you can read me it's probably going to tell you how to do it what to do it copy the script of v to the game folder that that this and that we so are going to open bin and you have you should have four files in here but you're only going to need i want to say two you should already have x input but we're going to drag everything except bin put eight dll so this is very old 5 to 2015. Let's look at it in our thing. Let's look for the D's, then put eight DLL, one, three, 2025. So this is the most up to date. And this can be another reason why your game isn't working. Just the then put could be, you know what I'm saying? Why it's not working. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this. We're going to press control, click native trainer ASI. We're going to click that and Zen put. We're going to click that We we'll drag it. It's going to be the same thing. Let's go and place those files to update it all. And boom, that's number two. Now the next one is going to be heap limit keep limit adjuster so these these are the standard you you probably downloaded these before let's go and download it again open that up just like that close this and let's go right back in our main directory boom gta5 and it's just two files an asi and an ini what we're going to do is grab those two drag and drop them and replace the files just like that let's keep that open close that now it's the last one. Now I've seen it on here. It was just next to it. So pack limit adjuster. You guys can search that up or you guys can go back and we'll click into that. Download this as well. Open that up. Close that. Let's go to our main directory. It's going to be two again. It's going to be pack limit adjuster ASI and pack limit adjuster INI. Control, click, click, let go of control, drag, drop, 
replace simple as that exit out of that close that that's that's the four that you need for your game to be up to date fresh to be compatible and to run smoothly now let's move on to the final one number five <laughs> now number five i've talked about it in my last video as well i'm pretty sure and it's gonna be the game config we're gonna look up game config oh that's new game config for legacy and enhanced i I guess there's a new type of GTA 5. Oh, there is. The Legacy is like the most... No, the Legacy is the old one. The Enhanced is the most updated. Okay, whatever. You're going to download this. You guys need this. If you're going to be modding your game at all, you literally need this. This is a main thing that you need, especially when you start to add a little bit more heavier mods. You're going to need this. So what we're going to do is GTA 5 V3 4.5. We're going to click this. We're going to go to more mods. Never do less mods. Always do more. Everybody's always putting more mods in their game. You never want to do less. Always do more. I recommend if your PC isn't good, stock traffic. So it's basically the GTA 5 base one. And right here we have a GTA 5 game config. Now to get to where you want to drag and drop this is you want to go to open IV. So let's type it open IV and open that grant the title five. Let's go to windows. That's what we're playing on. And as you can see my folder, I renamed it. So it's, it's not showing, but if you guys want to know how to get there, if you're just not downloading it, you just want to go to your GTA five main directory folder, just like that. Click select folder and to do a couple of run throughs. It's probably checking the game. See if the files match up. And you guys should get that confirmation, that green successful confirmation. Go and click continue. Once it all opens up, I might have to reinstall some things. So this probably be a good thing to show you guys. You guys want to come right here to this little book with a check mark like that. And you want to make sure you have all of these installed. ASI loader is basically loading all ASIs. You want to have all this installed. Next, we want to go to mods. We want to go to update. Update RPF. We're going to go to common data. We're going to scroll down and right here, you should see gameconfig.xml. And as you can see right here, gameconfig.xml. Now mine says compressed. That means it's already been modded. Everything that you see that says compressed, compressed is modded. Every, every one of these are modded except the ones that say compressed encrypted. All you simply want to do is grab this and drag it over. And it might not look like it did anything because it probably didn't. The numbers are probably still the same, but trust me, it definitely did something. Now that you have all five, or hopefully you've stuck to the end of the video and did all five, and then your game works. If your game does not work, comment down below the specific code, the specific reason, the specific thing that it's doing. If it's crashing as soon as you launch it, if it's, you know, an infinite loading black screen. I had a lot of problem with that my first time playing LSC, LSPDFR, but this video should be the answer to all your problems of why your LA speed of R isn't working. If this does help you go ahead and smash the subscribe button, it'd be greatly appreciated. It motivates me to keep continue to make videos for you guys to help you guys. I love helping people. This is no gaming and I'll see you guys in the next one.